Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing a hero section for our Blogger website. In the first couple of videos, we will design everything from scratch using HTML and CSS. And this is the design that we are going to make. And we will also add some animations to this so that when uh, the page is loaded, all these elements animate in. And then finally, we will uh, add this design to our Blogger website. So we will replace the current header that we have for our Blogger website. And we will add this header instead of that. And this is also responsive. So this is the mobile version that we're going to design for this hero section. So let's get started. All right, so here I'm using this code editor called VS Code. So all the code will be written in this code editor. And I have created an empty project called responsive hero section and uh, in that i have a folder called img and in that we have these images which we'll be using for uh, our design so these are all the images and i'll provide all these images for you to follow along so let's start by creating the necessary files first of all we'll create an index.html file so it should be outside the img folder so let's drag it out Alright, now let's create one more file and we will name it style.css. So let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, we have this shortcut where you can just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll get this basic HTML file code. And after that, we'll just type link and press tab. And uh, we will link our CSS file over here. So we'll just type style.css. And uh, in the body, we'll start with the markup. First of all, we'll create a header element. So we'll type header. And we'll also give it a class called main header. So this header element will contain everything that we see over here. And in that, first of all, we will have the navigation menu. So for that, we'll just create a nav element and we'll give it a class of main nav. And in that, we'll create unordered list. And we'll tap li for the list items and anchor tags. And uh, the first one is home. Then we have about logo features and downloads. So let me just copy this uh, from here and we'll just paste it four more times. So the second one is about. Now the third one is the logo. So if you go over here to the IMG, we can see that we have this logo called logo.png. So let's add that over here. So instead of home, we will type IMG. And in the source, we will type img slash logo.png. And then we have features and downloads. So I'll just type them over here. All right, that's it with the navigation menu. Now let's open this in our browser and see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed on VS Code. So this is the extension right here. You can just search for live server and install that. After that, you can just right click over here in the HTML file and just click on open with live server. And we can see that our navigation menu is being displayed over here. We don't have any styling because we haven't added any CSS yet. First of all, we'll complete all the HTML and then we'll move on to the CSS. So now the next thing we need to do is uh, add the left part of our uh, hero section, which is this uh, heading, this text and this button. So let's create a division for that. So after the navigation menu, we'll create a division with a class of hero container. And inside hero container, we will have two divisions with classes of hero left and hero right. So hero left will contain all this content and the hero right will contain this image and this search box. So let's type hero left and in hero left, we will have an h1 and we'll give it a class of hero heading and we'll just type live blogger and then we have this text below that so let's create a paragraph and we'll give it a class of hero subheading and we'll just type learn to create awesome modern websites for your clients now in our design we can see that after awesome we have a line break and after four we have a line break so let's add that over here so after awesome we'll just type br and it will add a line break and after four we will add a br so if you go to our website we can see that we have this text and we have the correct line breaks now the next thing we need to add is this button right here 
Now for this button, we'll just create an anchor tag and we'll just style it and uh, make it look like a button. So here after the paragraph, let's create an anchor tag and we'll also give it a class of btn. And for the href, I'll just type hash for now. And in here, we'll just type learn more. So this is our button. Now the next thing we need to do is create the right part of the hero section. So let's create another division with the class of hero right. And in that we'll have a division to contain this image. So we'll create a division and we'll give it a class of hero image. And we'll type img and uh, the image is this image right here, hero image.png. And after that we have the search box. So for that we'll create a division with a class of search box container. And in that we'll create an input tag and also this button. So we'll just type input of type text and we'll just give it a placeholder of type something. And then we'll create an input of type submit and we'll give it a value of search. So now we can see we also have the search box over here. Now the last thing we need to add is uh, this uh, background over here. So just before the header ends, we will just create an IMG tag and we'll set the source as IMG slash desktop bg dot png. So here we have the desktop bg right here. It is white in color so we cannot see it right now. And we have completed the HTML for our hero section. So that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will style it using CSS and then we'll also add some animation to this uh, hero section. And then finally, we'll add this to a blogger website. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.